Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today we did not get a chance to send the thumbnail out. However, I decided that I got to do. What really happened is that, you know, I do have a new computer and I am actually trying to get things running. So I didn't realize that the program that we use for this show actually have to be um, oh, my microphone is off. I'm sorry, guys. I just noticed that it was off. So let's start over. I hope the beginning you guys were hearing. I'm not sure. But what happened today is that it was like a whole mess because the the program that operates as this show I had was to try to download it on the new computer and it wasn't working at all. So I have to switch back to this computer and try to get the show up and running. But I see you guys were there, you know, waiting and I didn't want to disappoint point anyone by not having the show. How are you all doing? Today we are going to be talking about natural ingredients that is great for your face and also your body. Now, um, as you all know that we tend to take care of our face and sometimes we ignore the body, but just the way you take care of your face, you need to exfoliate the body, you need to, you know, cleanse the body and you need to have your entire body clean fresh looking okay so what we're gonna do today we are gonna just interact with each other if you take care of your body by exfoliating it on a regular you can also share what it is that you use to exfoliate your body any special ingredient you're using on your skin and just share it with us I'm also gonna share some of the in stuff I use on my body, like on a regular. And I also want you guys to know that some things that you use on your face is also good to use on your entire body. Happy Friday to you guys. And if you are in the USA, you know, it is a crazy weekend this weekend. We have um, Labor Day. And what do you guys know? I live pretty close to the West Indies and day um, parade route pretty close so you know it's gonna be like really really crazy in my area so not looking forward to it but the show must go on right <laughs> one um, single neighbor cannot complain that it's too much nice too many people coming in the city you know, it's good for the city. They're making money. And, you know, it's really a wonderful get together for people to just spend that day just enjoying themselves. All right. So that is, you know, what is going on in my neighborhood this week? What is going on in your neighborhood? I mean, if you live in America, if not, what do you guys normally do for the weekend? Feel free to talk about it on the chat today. Hello, Jason. How are you? We also have Rita. We also have Risa, which is our ISI Risi. That is, we also have Food Lover and we also have Brooke Gibbon. We have Constant, which is regular on the show. That's Constant, my, Constant Mafuma. Um, we have Justina Porter. Hello, Carolyn Pertit. And we also have Cheryl Connor, regular. And we have Beth Magadiano. I probably messed that up, right? Um, so hi to all who is watching. All right, guys. So Julia, Julia, how are you? Now, what do you really use on your skin? Do you just use a bath bar on your skin or do you use a shower gel only or do you use um, an exfoliator like a body scrub to exfoliate your entire body. Everyone have, you know, a different way of taking care of their entire body. Now for me, I personally use a body scrub. I, I use a lot of things. I guess you guys must be aware of that. I use a, a soap bar. I use a shower gel and I also do a body scrub. However, I do not do a body scrub every day. I sometimes do a body scrub two times or three times per week, depending on the mood that I am in. Do you use a bar soap, guys? I love, 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 love me some good old bar soap. It's like I cannot get enough 
bar soap and a lot of good bar soap is around these days like natural stuff with all the wonderful stuff that we use on the skin such as aloe vera we have bath soap with you know rosemary we have just some wonderful awesome bath soap out there and i do like uh, a more bath soap that is not too sweet more woodsy something you know with um a little bit of a aroma not necessarily just on fragrant i like it to have a little smell and then i would use that to just you know i use a wash rug anybody in the house that use a wash rug feel free to comment and then i would use the bar soap on the wash rug and i would just wash my entire body with that okay so if you're on the chat and you use a bathroom we're actually talking about ingredients that you can use on your face and also on your body however because i so want to focus on body i went straight to the body all right so i was just telling you guys how i actually take care of my body i wash with a wash rug first with a bar soap once i'm done with that i rinse off and then i'm crazy about shower gel so definitely i'm going to use the shower gel so I then i use my shower gel to rinse off after i do all of that then i move on to taking care of the you know other areas of the body okay so i do all of that first and then i concentrate on the other areas which i also like to use other products on the other areas now for body scrub when i'm gonna you know do a body scrub i normally do the bar soap ritual first by washing my skin with my rug and then i would do a full body scrub and after the body scrub i would rinse the body scrub off and then i still would use a shower gel because i'm addicted to shower gel and that is a no joke nicely fragrant nowadays i'm into this shower gel with like basil and stuff like that in it so yes that's how i take care of my body and you guys already know how i take care of my face now what is it good for the face and also the body a wonderful ingredient that is great for both your face and your body is in the form of an exfoliator and that is a brown sugar or even white sugar so i'm just going to say sugar on a whole you can use sugar on your body on your face your neck your decollete your armpit your you know all of that going down all the way down to your feet you can use it now you do not use just dry sugar you can choose to mix that sugar with a wide variety of ingredient ingredient of your choice you can even choose to take that same sugar add a little of your shower gel to it and exfoliate your body so face and body perfect perfect natural ingredients for your skin let me go to the chat and here i'm asking a lot of questions and i'm not looking what you guys are saying golden brook i use okay i just missed that but you were saying you use let me see if i could find back the comment yes i use brown sugar rice and coconut oil to exfoliate once a week and that is actually a very very wonderful combination that actually can do your face and your entire body we also have um carolyn um per tea baking soda coconut and lemon that's another awesome one really really awesome and you can also choose to put a little bit of lavender oil in that all right we have um rita i use a body scrub and a body lotion um but the gel all right way to go so most people are using body scrub anita just saying happy independence in advance to all trinidadian and tobagan um on the show it's independence happy independence to you guys okay to all the, the my subscribers and watcher out there in trinidad and tobago risa i use body scrub two to three times monthly and in between i use shower gel and black bar soap that black bar soap is actually a wonderful ingredient to use not only on your body but also on your face and most black bar soap contains like charcoal and stuff like that and if you're out there and you have pimples acne and you're looking to clear the skin up that black bar soap is amazing constant i use lemon and brown sugar that is that lemon and brown sugar is an overall 
overall wonderful body scrub. It's the simplest body scrub you can find out there, and it is one of I'm I'm gonna use one of the best, easy, quick body scrub that you could find anywhere that actually is very, very, very effective. All right. And that is also perfect for your skin. Okay. For your face, good for face and good for body. Tempe, I teach you greeting all the way from UK and welcome to the chat. Now, if you're joining the chat today, I'm just, we're just chit chatting today. We're not like you know, die are talking about the topic. I just want to interact a little. It's the end of the month. Come on now. We don't have to concentrate on the topic. I want to talk to you guys, hear what you guys are doing, but we're keeping it a little, you know, on, you know, how we take care of the body. And that is if you're just joining in. If you're just joining or if you're watching and you like me to switch it up a little like this and interact more and talk about what you guys use, then give the video a thumbs up. This is the Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. And skincare is not only the face, but the entire body. Welcome, welcome if you are just joining in. All right, so we also have... um. Um, food lover, oh girl, you are so beautiful. Thank you so much. On a day like when I'm also uh, frustrating. Um, Tem Tembe, T E M B E H G. Okay, I just read that. L N A N A O. Hello, beautiful. I love your video. I'm watching from San Diego, California. And hello to you. I um was recently out there, but not for long. I end up at the zoo. Believe it or not, beautiful place beautiful wonderful huge zoo out there and we have um na jumna um i just need a scrub for dog spot and face now tomorrow i'm going to be posting a scrub guys if you watched um earlier in the week i did a live video where i was making a body scrub that is going to be post tomorrow for all of you guys who were watching and that's an amazing body scrub however it is also good to use on your face so for you um Najuna, looking for a scrub for dark spot on the face. This one is good. However, I post a video earlier, which is not a, a scrub for the face, but a dark spot remover. You can also check that one out. Okay. All right. So we just talk about brown sugar. And now we're going to talk about another, which we just mentioned, but I do have it on the paper, another ingredient that is good for the face and also good for your entire body. And that is lemon. And lemon, we mix with a wide variety of things. One person mix lemon with rice. And I do have that on the paper. However, I would suggest that if you're going to use the lemon on your skin, you can actually add the brown sugar to the lemon or even some baking soda. Some people think that the baking soda is too harsh. You don't want to use the baking soda. You use some rice. You do not only need to use lemon juice, but the lemon peel is loaded with vitamin C. So I suggest that you zest the lemon, mix that zest in whatever you're using. So let's say you mix the lemon zest in some blended rice, and then you dip back that lemon in it and use it to exfoliate your body. Not only is it going to get rid of the dead skin cell, but you are going to feel so refreshed. Okay. And this is like a no joke. If you have lemon, give it a try. Just go in the shower with some lemon, just cut fresh lemon open, go in it, the shower and rub it all over your skin. And then you rinse off. You are going to feel amazing, but you need some granules on it to get rid of dead skin cell to exfoliate the skin and that is the reason why it suggests i'm suggesting that you mix some brown sugar or some baking soda or some rice you know make sure to blend that rice or some white sugar and use that you could even choose to blend some almond almond is a little on the pricey side but if you um could afford to do that you just blend it with the peel and everything or you can also blend some splits Piece. When it comes on to exfoliating, 
to find granules to exfoliate your skin, the sky is the limit because most of food can, once it is a little hard and it can be blend, will not damage your skin at all. So peas and peas, I find that a lot of people now are using peas like um, split peas or um, um, what's they call the other one? I think some people don't say split peas, the same peas they use to make dal, depending on where you live here in America, we say split peas. That is a good piece to use on the skin. Just blend it to a powder. The next piece I was looking for was um, Gabanza bean. Some people um, use that name. So just blend it to a powder and use it. It's going to have some fine granules in it. And then you could squeeze the lime or dip the lime in it and exfoliate your skin. You have so many options, so many options out there to exfoliate your skin. And the that also is good for not only the body, but you can actually use that on your face. If you have sensitive skin, when it comes on to the lemon, I suggest that you patch test. If you cannot use lemon juice though, and this, what I recently found out is that some people are not able to use the lemon juice, but the lemon zest is, you know, great, just works wonders. So you can use the juice, use the zest, always patch test if you have sensitive skin. If you have oily skin, any citrus fruit is just awesome for you. Use it on your face and also on your body. Now, most people know about lemon. Is there something else that you use to exfoliate your body that I am not mentioning? If you have something that you use that I don't talk about, feel free to share. Tembi, otherwise, I really, really love your channel and I've learned a lot from you and you. Okay, so maybe I missed the first um, comment that you make. So, I probably will be able to see it after the show is over or, or I might have to scroll, but I'm not seeing what you were saying. So repeat, your, repeat if you um, don't mind or, okay, all right, I don't see it. I use lemon zest and brown sugar and coconut oil. Okay, okay, got it. Otherwise, I really love your channel. I learn a lot from you and me you be blessed. Thank you so much. All right. This is a new person. No, Prasad. That's a name I see before. So before I teach you from the dark spot remover that you post with the red onion, can I use shea butter instead of the carrot um, butter? And I did saw the comment and I think I respond to it. If I didn't respond to it, um, somebody else had asked it. And I said, um, you can, but it's not a substitute because the carrot butter contains different kinds of vitamins and minerals like vitamin A and stuff like that, that you do not find in the shea butter. However, you can go ahead and use it because the rest of ingredient in that makes a wonderful dark spot remover, okay? The carrots butter is just an addition to it. You can even choose to leave it out because most of the benefits are coming from the rest of the ingredients such as the onion, okay? So I hope I answer your question. How do you remove uh, malasima? to my face. You will have to try some wonderful remedy that I have on the channel and you could try to use any one that I use like tea tree oil and lavender oil in. Lorna, um, actually I finally got my carrot seed oil. I'm so um, elated. I use lemon, green tea and rice flour to exfoliate. It works for my feet. All right, so listen to this um, mix, guy. It's lemon, green tea, and rice flour. And guess what, guys? That combination is great for both your face and your entire body. And she even take it down to her feet, okay? No joke. This is really, really good. You know why? Because the green tea have to fight the wrinkles and the fine lines. The lemon is loaded with vitamin C. And when it comes onto the rice, rice has been used for centuries to clear the skin of spots, blemishes, hydrates, 
polish the skin, you name it. There's a big company out there, which I won't name name until they sponsor me. <laughs> anyway, that they use like a lot of rice enzyme in their product. Very, very expensive, but very, very good. So guys, don't shy away of using rice. And recently on this show, I brought out like purple rice. There's purple rice, there's black rice. There's a lot of awesome products out there on the market that contain both purple rice and black rice. Before you used to see mostly black rice but now they're getting into the purple rice so black rice white rice purple rice if you have rice use it the difference however is that the purple rice have the most vitamin a for your skin next in line is the black rice and the least is the white rice so that's all you view it use the white rice if that's all you have but if you have the black or the purple when it comes on to the aging skin, when it comes on to the wrinkles and fine lines, when it comes on to boots and collagen, you're gonna reap more benefit from the black rice and the purple rice than the white rice, but they're all rice, okay? All right, so that's a wonderful, I love that combination. Definitely give that combination a mix, a, a try guy. Green tea, lemon, and blended rice, okay? And use that, I would add some, lemon juice along with a little bit of uh, um, coconut oil or a little bit of uh, olive oil to that and I would exfoliate from my head all the way down to my feet with that one. All right, um, Reese, um, please, what can I use to get rid of pigmentation on my face? I use aloe vera at the moment. Aloe vera is very good and someone just mentioned the carrot seed oil or the carrot seed butter that will also works great mixed with the aloe vera if you could get your hands on the store-bought aloe vera gel use a fresh aloe vera gel on your skin then you rinse it off and do a combination and i have some wonderful oil blend on this channel when you're done click on my face go on my channel page and just look on um dark spot serum or anything like that on my page and give that any one of those recipe a try. It definitely will help, but please remember to exfoliate your skin at least two to three times a week. Hi, I see, how are you? I'm happy with sugar, baking soda and lemon. My face is loving it. And a lot of people love that one. The, the sugar, the baking soda and the lemon. And there again, I have a, I have a, um, a poll going on in the community. Community is when you look at the top and you see the word community on the page. If you click on that, you're going to see my poll that is going. That's on my page. And I'm asking people, what do they prefer? Do they prefer the lemon or the tomato when it comes on to brightening the skin. The lemon is way ahead, way ahead of the tomato. And I could clearly see from the chat today that most people prefer or really into the lemon. If you don't use the tomato, all right, what is it why you choose to use lemon over the tomato? Like for SC recipe with sugar, baking soda, lemon, why wouldn't you just Give, use the tomato instead. Do you find that the lemon works better than the tomato or is it that the fragrance from the, the lemon is better or you just trust lemon over tomato? All right, Karen, I'm on. Please, Open Pores Treatment. I am from Germany. Thank you. And Open Pores, I think last week or the week before, we were talking about clay and we were talking about a wide variety of different clay that is good for your skin. Any clay mask is going to help to, to shrink those pores. But first, you got to exfoliate the skin, and then you use any form of a clay mask, whether it is a pink clay, whether it is fuller's earth, whether it is green clay. Clay mask is great for pores. However, if you have no form of a clay mask, you can use some of my natural combination of ingredients that I use. I make a good cornstarch facial mask that will help to shrink the pores on your skin. And I also make um, facial mask using like um, yogurt and blend with other ingredients like papaya and those are going to help you. So give any one of those a go and you know, use it for a while and come back and comment. So now guys, most of the ingredients that I was going to talk about today, you guys are already talking about it. So I'm just going to continue reading some of the comments and 
you know, probably add um, a few words to what you guys are using. Bro, for some reason, I trust the lemon more. It just seemed more acidy than the tomato, but I use the tomato as well. And that is exactly what I think. I think people really trust the lemon more and are more comfortable that the lemon is going to get the job done over the tomato. All right, um, Shana, S-H-A, Shana, uh, Ma, what is the use of argan oil on the face? Okay, so argan oil is one oil that I also use on my skin, and I put it in the, the, the pile where I have my special oil because it's depending on where you live, it's on the pricier side. Hello, Jason, how are you? Um, it moisturizes the skin. It's an oil that contains a lot of a vitamin E for your skin. It also have a bit of a vitamin A, not as much as rosehip oil or those oil, but the beauty of the organ oil is that you can use it on your face, your entire body, but it's also good to use on your ear, your nails, just basically everywhere on your body, okay? So that is one oil that is really an all rounder are all over body oil so use up your argan oil okay jason personally personally i like to use tomato for brightening my skin because with the lemon i can't go straight to the sun after using it and that is actually a very very valid point depending on your skin type a lot of it's not recommend to use the lemon and go directly in the skin unless unless you use a sunblock because of the acidity from the lemon and it do affect you know the sun rays so you know the combination of the acid will darken your skin if you just step outside just with lemon juice or on your skin so that's good the the, the tomato does not really have the same effect and as essie said it doesn't really have that amount of acid as the lemon but definitely um tomato is good just as the lemon if you really do give it a try half and half, you're going to get the same result from using either or either. The lemon, however, do have a better fragrance. Julia, my friend is using Accutane um, tablets. Is it okay when she used turmeric um, in a face mask? Well, I could go on and on and on and on about this, Julia, but the fact that you just mentioned, regardless of what the tablet is, just the word, okay? If I comment further on it, then I might get myself in trouble. So I'm going to just leave it alone because it's, I do know what that is, but YouTube is a little sensitive these days when it comes on to answering. But the fact that you said they might think I'm giving medical advice, even though that is far from what you're asking, so we will leave it alone. But turmeric is actually good to use on the skin to lighten and brighten the skin. And there's no issue with using turmeric and going out in the sun. Okay. All right. Um, um Jasper. Um, J A S P R E E T I. What is more effective natural ingredient for? Okay, so you want a more effective natural ingredient for hyperpigmentation on the skin? The video I made yesterday using onion is really, really good. Onion actually is better to get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin over the tomato or the lemon, okay, for faster results. The problem with the onion is that the fragrance coming from the onion is not friendly to go around people, you know, using that all day. And people tend to shy away from that. However, the, the remedy I made yesterday, I had some lavender oil to it and stuff like that. That's going to kind of calm the fragrance down a bit. But I still would suggest use it at night because you don't want to feel uncomfortable. And that is the reason why people tend to go more to lemon, more to tomato. But if you really want a quick fix, definitely the onion is great for spots and blemishes on the skin. Be mindful though, it could be a little strong. So please use something with it like a little olive oil or a little coconut oil or something like that, okay? All right. Um, Sheila, I always use sweet peas shower gel with a wash rag and then use sweet pea body cream. All right. So that's someone that like to use the 
to wash and then a body cream, all right? So one thing you are missing in the middle is some exfoliating. So add a few, uh, one or two times per week, exfoliate the skin for, you know, softer skin, cleaner skin, clear skin. If you're watching guys, the topic today is five ingredients that is good for the face on the body. But I do, you know, ask questions like what you guys use on your face. And then I'll tell you if that is good for the face and also the body. Constant, I teach you good evening. At my jaw side, I have something like, um, I think you're writing eczema. What can I use for it? Not eczema, but cream um, reaction. You can actually use sulfur. And um, any form of uh, eczema or any little thing that you think look like eczema, you know what I'm talking about, guys. You can use sulfur on it. And you could get sulfur to buy. If you don't have sulfur, the next alternative that do contain sulfur back again to the onion, okay? Just spot test the area, all right? And if you know, know what a sulfur is, it's like just this white, I'm not white, sorry. I don't know if they have white sulfur, but it's yellow. And you could get it to buy like an Amazon and thing. I recommend using it because I grew up with eczema and I normally preach that on my channel. If you are new to my channel, I did grow up with eczema all over my skin, all over my body. And what was used on it is, um, sorry guys, what was used on my skin to help to clear it up is a um, sulfur and that is why I swear by sulfur. Hello Makeup Forever, how are you? Um, Samina, um, how to remove suntan immediately from the skin, which is the best remedy? Anything with aloe vera. And I have a, a video out where I have my hand um, and you could see the circle on my hand for the suntan. A lot of people email me and that remedy that it is working wonderfully so you should look for it the thumbnail click on my page and just put suntan and that video will come up and give that remedy a try it's wonderful all right um um jay how to remove ingrown ear on the chin and you're talking right up my alley now let me tell you something i do have chin hair and i use years ago i used to use like a Oh, you name it on my chin. However, a wonderful ingredient that really works on the chin, and this is like a no joke, is the turmeric powder. Now, when you use the turmeric, well, I use the turmeric powder on my skin, on my chin here, it takes forever to grow back. And this is like a no joke, but I just mix that turmeric um, powder in a paste and just leave it on like a facial mask on the area and after it's been there for about 30 minutes then i just rub it but you gotta let's say i'm going on vacation and i really don't want all these little furries on my face then that's the facial mask that i would use because it inhibit the growth the hair growth and i proved that for myself so that is one natural ingredient that i recommend however i have some other amazing amazing recipe on my channel for chin ear but you could give the turmeric a try but use it for like a month or so and then come back and leave a comment all right that is actually something i use on my chin ear that i can tell you that hey listen this really really works okay all right um please can i have your phone number absolutely no you could send me an email however send an email to chichi beauty at gmail.com rush what about scar removal to get the pigmentation um back to get the pigmentation back fast um okay so the the oh you guys are asking all the questions that um the video i made yesterday when you're done go and watch that video and i also talk a little bit about getting rid of scar removal you are saying to get the pigmentation back you get rid of the scar what kind of scar is it is it like a a cut a scar from a cut or a scrape or whatever but if you remove the scar already and there's just this marking go and use the recipe the remedy that i post yesterday that is actually 
really great for that all right all right guys so we're talking about natural ingredients that is good for the face on the body i do take some question i stray away but i know i already mentioned more than five ingredients that you can use on your face and on your body we talk about lemon we talk about rice we talk about brown sugar and we're talking about mostly ingredients that exfoliate the skin now when it comes on to moisturizing the skin we have a wide variety of oils the same oils that you use on your face is the same oil that you can use on your body mix your oil together and use it on your body mix your oil in your body lotion when I use like certain kinds of um, body lotion on my skin, sometimes I don't feel, especially in the winter time, I don't feel like they are moisturizing enough. So I like to add all my wonderful oil. I like to put coconut oil in my body lotion. I like to put um, olive oil, almond oil, you name it, when I have a body oil um, lotion. And I also like to use just the natural oil on my body. The best way to use oil on your skin, guys, with the same oil you use on the, the face. However, if I make a little batch of facial oil for you guys, when I use all those wonderful rose hip and cake oil and all of that, that would be really, really expensive for you to use it all over your body, all right? But you can choose to mix like a carrier oil and put a few drops of these oil in it to use on your body. And back to me, saying a good way to use oil on your body is right out of the shower when you finish taking your shower you stand up pat dry do not completely dry your body and then take a little of your favorite oil or your oil blend and use it on your body just use it with a little bit of the water and you are going to be hydrated for you know a long time a couple of hours well your skin is not going to feel as dry as if you leave this you dry the skin with the towel and then you leave it here dry before you apply so always try to use a body oil just out of the shower and most oil that is good for your face is also good for your entire body. The difference is that some is so pricey and they come in these little tiny bottles that if you was to use it all over your body, it would cost a good penny. But don't shy away from using, let's say if you're using olive oil on your skin, tip two drops of the rosehip oil or even the argan oil or even the cake oil or even the the carrot seed oil or the carrot seed butter just dip a little in the oil and use it on your skin okay lana nurse i use these as exfoliated lemon green tea um lemon green tea rice honey skin of banana with turmeric oatmeal they all work wonders for my skin mix and match definitely and guys oatmeal oatmeal for the person that was asking about how to get rid of their large pores that's another wonderful ingredient aside from using clay mask you can also use oatmeal blend that oatmeal and put a little bit of a milk in it blend it into a paste and use it on your skin apply it to the skin leave it on it for about 30 minutes and then you rinse off pat dry the skin use some facial toner and your favorite facial serum or facial moisturizer it's gonna definitely help to close those pores up and guess what oatmeal is another awesome ingredient to use on your entire body a good oatmeal body mask is great you can choose to add some here it comes for people with a lot of cellulites people with a lot of stretch marks get yourself some oatmeal add some good old coffee powder to it blended coffee beans and mix that together with a little oil oil of your choice whether it is coconut grapeseed olive oil and just exfoliate your entire body with that that is so amazing from that coffee fragrant oh guys i'm telling you <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So definitely don't shy away of you from using the oatmeal. I just gave you a recipe for your face using the oatmeal, and I just gave you a recipe for your entire body using the oatmeal. Oatmeal is awesome, guys. Don't shy away from that. Um, Fatima, um, how to get rid of scars and and does coconut oil help to remove scars? In my research, yes. The coconut oil help to remove the scars however for me i'm going to keep it real with you if you have a scar on your body 
I suggest you exfoliate your skin. What happened with removing the dark mark is the dead skin cells that keep layering over it. So when you exfoliate the skin, it's going to remove the top layer. And by constantly doing that, that's how you're going to fade the scar. Now the coconut oil is going to help to moisturize that ear and it's going to lock the moisture in the skin. And with that locked moisture in, the skin is going to stay hydrated. And before you know it, the skin is going to look amazing. The dead skin cells and all of that is going to be off and then you're going to get clear skin. So yes, in my research, it do help. But as I said, exfoliate for a more effective result. Julia Tupper, I am near the parade too. Oh, really? Hello, my Brooklyn eye. All right, guys. So my time is up. I hope you enjoyed today's show. No notification went out, guys. I do understand that. Next week, September, everything is back to normal, up and running. And definitely my computer is going to be up to date. So pr pretty new and I am all over the place with it. I like to figure things out for myself. So the fact that I have this new computer, I'm not going to call someone in and said, fix this, set this up for me. Because when I go on it, I want to be able to know that. Okay. So this was here. That was, don't ask me. I'm complicated like that but I just like to do these kind of things for myself however sometimes it takes um hi Taran G I'm missing the parade uh, this year and it take a little longer but it will be up and running by tomorrow morning <laughs> all right guys so I didn't post the video that I made for today it is ready but I was having some issues using the new computer with the thumbnails I set it already to post tomorrow morning at 10 a.m already set, already there. So it's not going to be late. So tomorrow morning, look out for that um, video. It is a body scrub and it was supposed to post today to be tied in with this show, but it ran late. So watch it tomorrow, give it a try. And I'm using some wonderful ingredient in it, which we already talk about some of those ingredients on this, but the combination is really, really great. Wonderful all over body scrub for you. All right, guys, have a great weekend. If you are on a long weekend, do something. Take care of yourself. Karin Igin, stand for sharing. Peace. So, um, Celine, um, okay, have a good day. I love Pakistan. Hi, how are you? And we also have um, Brooke exfoliate two to three times a week. Um, makeup forever. Have a great day. All right. This person, I didn't give a shout out that um, Gerlinda, G-E-R-L-I-N-D-E. -E. Oh, I just missed the comment. All right, but definite. And then we have Samina, S-A-M-E-E-N-A. -E -E how many times can you exfoliate your face in a month? We're going to break it down to a week. Two to three times per week is recommended at 28 days a month. That is going to make it, if you do three times a week, that is six plus six, that's 12 times per month. So at least... 10 to 12 times per month, okay? I'm very good with maths, guys. <laughs> I'm like, anyway, <laughs> my time is up. It's the holiday. I'm going to be doing some um, stuff in my backyard. That's Sunday evening, that is, not on Monday. Sunday evening, I'm going to be doing some burgers and stuff like that. I'm doing vegetarian burgers. They are doing their, you know, beef burger and all of that, but I'm going to have a, little, you know, wonderful weekend. So if for any reason, there's no video, you guys know I'm eating burgers. Okay. I love you guys. Take care of you. Continue to watch uh, my channel and I will continue to come up and put out some wonderful goodness for you. Do a facial mask this weekend or exfoliate your skin or go and watch the videos that I post this week or click on my face, which will take you to my channel page. Browse around, leave a comment. Also try to watch the community chat and leave your comment. We have a poll going on right now. So feel free to go and, you know, cast your poll. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Merita Ohms, how are you? Bye guys. Tembi, love, Lee weekend, Chichi, and blessing. Thank you. Yeah.